people get sort of shocked by all this. They go, oh, Captain America, he's a symbol of America. He's a, no, he hasn't really been a symbol of America <laughs> since the 1940s. It, back when he, Hitler. Yeah, back when he was fighting Hitler, when you look at those 1940s covers, and he's uh, and he's actually sort of kicking Axis butt. <laughs> <laughs> he's unambiguously American. Uh, and then when the minute you get back to the 60s uh, and you look at all the covers, they show him like walking through a burnt out inner city ghetto, riddled with self doubt, you know, ashamed of his shield with the big, <laughs> <laughs> and it, and you can see he's, uh, you know this thing. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I should have thought less and questioned more. <laughs> and there's all this. So, <laughs> so like for for forty years now, he's been a kind of mired in moral relativism. Right. And I think at some point, you know, this this thing, this movie Three Hundred, which I haven't seen, I'm not even seeing the next couple of days. But I think one of the reasons it's done so well is just because there is a actually a tremendous market for films in which like those old stories, uh, you do just go out and unambiguously uh, want the bad guys. And so it's not even a commercial decision Hollywood's making. Hollywood